Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about my DCAC inverter, my large one, with real world applications. You can do this with a small one. Um, I just have a rod stuck into the ground a couple inches with a clamp, a um, pair of vice grips holding the ground on. Um, if I needed to use this full time, it would actually be properly grounded. Uh, usually there is a lid on it. It is outside. Um, the water has been coming off the roof. It looks like it could rain. Um, see if I can get a better shot of this. I did it hook up a regular plug. It comes around the inside the box and goes to this outlet box. That way I can actually keep the lid on it. I do have an extension cord ran. Um, a lot of people tell you try to tie into plugs like this. If you do, you have to make sure the main breaker is off. And remember one thing, if it's a ground fault plug, it will not work at all. And these plugs only carry 15 amps. That's what they're rated for. So, you know, if you want to hook up a generator or something like that, I I'd advise against it. You can actually short something out. Alright, let's go on inside. Now, I do have my extension cord hooked up. Now, I'm going to show you real world applications. I will apologize right now because I will be shutting off the main power to this place. I really hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, I do have the extension cord plugged into a power box, well, um, protection box, surge protector, and this is the cord right here that goes to my fridge. Once again, I'm inside, I really have to apologize, and I will have to use this camera on this because I will be shutting the power off. There's a small extension cord. I actually should have got out a bigger extension cord running to my coffee pot. Alright, I will not pause this or do anything else until I show everything. I'm coming to my main breaker box. I really hope you can see. In fact, let me grab a flashlight real quick. I do have the door open as much as possible. Um, okay I apologize if you can't really see this here's my fridge and it is working it is on yeah I hope this doesn't shut off my battery is like down to one bar on this it is a piece of junk I've done a review on this now it is not advisable to run anything with a heating element off solar can you do it yes um, if you're going to I advise you have more batteries and as much solar as you can possibly have I only have 400 watts of solar and two dual cycle marine batteries from Walmart they are lead acid. I did check the water level the other day and topped it off with um, distilled water. You can probably hear it. I hope you can see the coffee it is actually making and once again um, here's my coffee pot wire my plug and it goes down here and there's midnight of course there's midnight he's just a stinker and once again it's plugged into here so for real-world applications 
having a power inverter is a really good thing really good idea you could actually use this on your vehicle instead of on solar like I'm doing now um, after I let this run I will unhook it and let my solar batteries charge back up it's kind of a dismal day so it'll take a while um, but yes a power inverter can be used for real-world applications I do have a 12 volt inverter and once again the reason I'm using my large inverter instead of my small power bright on this is I do not have a case built for my power bright inverter yet so if water drips off the roof or you know it starts to rain or snow or anything my large inverter is protected my power bright inverter is not so that's why I'm using my large inverter and if you're going to run certain things like refrigerators my power bright inverter will run my fridge uh, I apologize my fridge is black um, and you can tell we just you can hear it and this is running straight off my inverter let's get back to the coffee pot real quick oh yeah it's running just like it would on a regular plugged outlet so in a real world situation is a power inverter worth it that's all up to you um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my power back on I have to apologize for the beeping that will happen apparently yeah right over there it's my little dryer thing um, but in a real world situation let's turn all these lights on maybe you can get a better view And don't worry about the little beeping. It is just that it will have to reset in a few minutes. It'll stop beeping uh, because the power went out. And once again, can you use an inverter for real world situations? Absolutely. In an emergency situation, if this was hooked up to a running car, you could power quite a bit of stuff. Um, once again, I'm not trying to tell you to run out and buy an inverter. I'm not telling you buy a generator. I'm telling you, if you're going to try to be prepared, the, if you're planning on getting solar anytime soon, you will have to have a power inverter. So, my advice is to start with the power inverter. In fact, when that gets done, I'm going to have me some coffee. My coffee cup's in there. Um, uh, my large inverter will definitely run my microwave unfortunately I only have the one extension cord right now uh, my other ones out in the van uh, I was working on it uh, the van and I just left it out there so I'm stuck with this large orange one and this little bitty one here so will it help in an emergency situation you bet even if you have 100 watt of solar and a single battery you can actually run a fridge but remember the key is do not open your fridge unless you absolutely have to uh, once it gets cold you want it to stay cold all right anyway I wanted you to see it working in the real world and what it can do uh, if my camera shuts off I apologize this little handheld is just a piece of junk I have the door open every light on in here so anyway i'm fixing to go everyone have a good day